这边，这这这这这这，行，这边，这这这这这，哎，我破嘞，破嘞。Does real magic exist? Well, how would you define real magic? Real magic could be described as supernatural. But what does that mean? Supernatural is something that goes beyond natural forces, isn't it? Well, supernatural cannot exist then, because if something exists in nature, then it must be natural. Therefore, supernatural can be thought of as something that seems to go beyond natural forces, or something that goes beyond the known laws of nature. If a phenomenon fits this description, they wouldn't declare it supernatural. Instead, they would rewrite the laws to fit the new phenomenon, making it natural again. Or they would file it under unknown until they found out what caused it. So you see, using this method, nothing can possibly ever be declared supernatural. A good example of this would be the recent findings with neutrinos at CERN in Switzerland and the Gran Sasso Laboratory in Italy. Thing can travel faster than the speed of light is now being challenged by scientists in Switzerland. In recent experiments, neutrinos were sent from CERN to Gran Sasso. A distance of 732 kilometers. Detectors at Gran Sasso measured the neutrinos as having travelled faster than the speed of light. The margin was very small, but enough to shake the very foundations of modern physics. If they conclude that neutrinos can indeed travel faster than light. This will have broken one of the fundamental principles of physics, as described by Albert Einstein in his theory of special relativity. So it's supernatural then. Well, it can't be supernatural if it exists in nature. So they wouldn't call it supernatural. They just revise the laws to fit the phenomenon, making it natural again. Or they would file it under unknown until they find out what causes it. It would be exactly the same if, say, ghosts were suddenly being observed everywhere, or even God. Several truly mind-blowing and frankly spooky phenomena lie in the realm of quantum physics: wave-particle duality and quantum entanglement. With wave-particle duality, an electron can be both a wave and a particle simultaneously. In the infamous double slit experiment, single electrons behave like waves when they are not being observed, and like particles when they are being observed. The electron decided to act differently, as though it was aware it was being watched. This is nothing short of mind-blowing. It shows that the universe is far more mysterious than we ever could have imagined. Until it is observed, an electron exists in all possible states at the same time. There is no time in the quantum world. It makes you wonder what the world really looks like when no one's looking. Spooky. Max Planck, widely regarded as the founder of quantum theory, had this to say: "All matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force which brings the particle of an atom to vibration, and holds this most minute solar system of the atom together. We must assume behind this force the existence of a conscious and intelligent mind." This mind is the matrix of all matter. With quantum entanglement, electrons and even larger molecules interact and become separated. Experiments have shown that separated pairs are still connected. When one changes to a certain state, 
the other changes to the opposite state, even though there is no visible connection. This occurs over any distance. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. If he says something is spooky, you want to listen. So, if this is the nature of the quantum world, then it is also the nature of us and everything around us, since everything is made of this stuff. Could quantum phenomena explain certain paranormal abilities? It's possible. Maybe quantum entanglement could explain instances of ESP. And if there is no time in a quantum world, then seeing the future doesn't sound so impossible. So what is real magic? Well, with the current method, it can never exist, for the reasons I've explained. Who are you? I am the invisible pink unicorn. Am I dead? So, when atheists go on about proving the supernatural, this puts them in a very comfortable position. One that is infinitely biased in their favour, and one that they can't possibly lose. What we must concede is that nothing truly supernatural can ever exist. Since if we observe something that seems to violate natural forces, what we do is just revise the laws to fit the phenomenon which would make it natural again, or file it under unknown until we find out what caused it. So the closest thing to real magic right now? Neutrinos. By the way, one online definition of supernatural reads attributed to a power that seems to violate or go beyond natural forces. The recent findings with neutrinos fit this description perfectly. Unless, of course, further experiments prove that they don't in fact break the light speed barrier. Although several quantum phenomena fit this description also. That then would be real magic. At least until they revise the laws.